This reading is for my beautiful Virgos. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So we have mastery. You learned the spiritual lesson. Give me one Holy Spirit. And warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Okay. And release. Ooh, jab. Okay, self-care. So somebody is um, you know, taking care of themselves, pouring into themselves. You learn some type of lesson from a situation. It's definitely giving me like death and rebirth, shadow work. It's like somebody listening to their intuition and going within something that you know. You you learned the spiritual uh, spiritual lesson spirit is saying. Children under the bottom. So something could be um children could be a part of this connection. Child, mother, baby father, obstacles, and soulmate. So somebody could have been standing in the way <clears throat> of you and a soulmate connection. You could have learned this lesson, you or your person. Either one of you guys can be going through this at this time, okay? I feel like someone is obsessing over you. Yeah, longing over you. While you're clearing your energy field, um, possibly it's giving me like hermit mood. You could be, you know, focusing on you, taking care of you, going within. You can be very um, protective over your energy at this time. And it has someone obsessing over you, longing. Yeah. Whoever this soulmate is that wants a second chance, give me more Holy Spirit. I feel like with that self-care, somebody is going with it and doing some type of um, healing. And it has everything to do with self-love. Mm -hmm. But I feel like somebody want to explain something to you. Like, you know, it wasn't even like that or, you know, um, whatever the obstacles was, um, something was standing in the way. And maybe you've seen just red flags about this person that just, you know, made you uh, caution yourself. You know, I don't feel like you picked up and moved on to another connection. I just feel like you just, you know, chose you. Give me more Holy Spirit with the, the truth. <sighs> yeah, somebody is missing you. Mm -hmm. This person feels alone. Give me more Holy Spirit. Triggered. And unconditional love. This person knows you have every right, you know, um, to possibly stand on your ground with the release, walking away. But this is someone I feel like you and this person have unconditional love for this person. I mean, for each other. But you choosing you with this self-care, it has this person triggered. Somebody knows that... Um, you're nobody's fool, I just heard. Yeah, I feel like you believed in this person with this unconditional love. And I feel like with this trigger card, give me a card on the trigger. I feel like this person is just triggered because you decided to, you know, love yourself. It's like, um, mm, you're not giving as much tension or energy to this connection as you once did. Yeah, I cannot make it up. You're not giving as much energy, okay, or attention to this connection as you once did. And it has this person triggered a message. So this person could be wanting to message you. Conflict. Maybe this person feels like um, you don't feel like they're your concern anymore. You don't care. 
And this person could think that it's going to cause some type of conflict. When they message you, obviously there's some type of message. It could be a truth when it comes to this um, relationship. Somebody feels like either you're going to shut them down or it's going to be with the conflict. It's going to be like, you know, um, you guys could possibly be going back and forth. Because somebody feels like you 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 don't want to do with this anymore. You feel like it's over. And whoever you're dealing with or was dealing with, somebody is obsessing over you by you saying that you don't want to, you know, deal with them anymore or you being over with or you pulling your energy back. You know, you're, you're, you're um, not showing this person as much attention as you once did. It has this person triggered. Like, this is somebody who does not want to hear it's over. Okay? But I don't feel like this was your first rodeo with this person. Like, maybe you could be tired of hearing the same thing from this person. Fantasy, seduction, sex, planning, option. Yeah, you don't trust this person because you feel like this person has options. Or you feel like this person sleeps around. This person is a player. Um, very charming. Yeah, it's like, who the hell does this person think they is going to play with your energy like that? Yeah, no, it's giving me very narcissist vibes now. There ain't no way in heck. Okay, I see why. <laughs> you was going with him. Yeah, who the hell do you think they is, Sunseeds? Chill. Yeah, somebody knows that their lies is the. Uh, it's giving me. The, the message gives me. It says a message, but I'm picking up intuitively like some type of truth. And with the conflict, it's like, I feel like the truth is that somebody's accepting that something might possibly be someone just choosing not to work with another person and choosing themselves. But it'll cause a conflict because whoever this person is, they don't want to hear that it's over. They don't, they don't want to hear that. Because it's like you, somebody's being very protective over their energy right now. Yeah, look under the bottom. I can't make it up. Whoever this top operational person is. Yes, you don't you don't have time for no toxic goddamn crap. And somebody is daydreaming about you. Okay? Yeah. This person was whoever mm -mm, changes water sign. That's a benefit. Yeah. Somebody uh, <clears throat> somebody could have been very intimidated by you, who you was dating. Something changed in this connection between you and this person. It's like somebody wanted somebody to settle. Um, they didn't want somebody, whoever this high vibrational person is, to not know they were. Why the hell would you be an option when you're the main? Like, <laughs> like I heard the main course. <laughs> like, what they do that? Like, you look too good. Uh -uh. And when I say you look too good, I'm too... Uh, Y'all always know. The inside first. The inside first. You know? You're too high vibration. You look too good to be dealing with some toxic... What the hell? That's not even a match. Yeah, look up to the bottom. Walking away. And what's this? Compromise. Options. I want you. You and this person can be very opposite. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said option. This is opposite. <laughs> you guys could be two different um, nationalities. Yeah, but it has to, um, with this compromise and, um, and opposites, it gives me like with the, with the, um, the white and the black, it gives me that it has to be like some type of, um, balance. That, that's that, Yang and that yang. And I feel like by you walking away, that could be you bringing yourself balance. You know? Accepting both sides, the dark and the light. But this person wants you. Yeah, they want you, but this is somebody who was once, yeah, non committal, karmic partner, chemistry, determined. <clears throat> immature. Um, 
This person could have been definitely non-committed before because they was dealing with a karmic. Oh, that's he. <laughs> they was dealing with a um a karmic partner, some seeds. Mm-hmm. Determined chemistry, karmic partner, non-committal. This person was always determined to get back to you. Mm-hmm. They were. But this person had a karmic on their behind. Yeah. But this unconditional love, I feel like this person wants to tell you like it it always been you, you know? Um Something was complicated. It was some type of obstacle, something that was standing in this person's way where um, this connection possibly probably didn't even really get off the ground or couldn't move forward the way it was supposed to because of the third party being released. Yeah, happiness. It's like now that you're walking away or have walked away, now this person wants to compromise with you. Yeah. And it could have been um with this giving card on the toxic and crazy, they could have this person could have somebody that even if they no longer attach to them anymore and they release them, it's like it could be a third party where they are like literally hanging on, like they they're not, you know, they crazy over this person. And possibly for some of you guys, this person knows that this person is crazy over you. But they don't care. They're crazy over them. Yeah, they know that. But somebody feels like, ugh, they got some, uh, a karmic that's standing in the way. You know, that's the obstacle. And possibly it could be somebody's, um, the parent of someone's children. You may call them a toxic crazy over spirit. It's like somebody fantasizes and dreams about somebody all the time. You know, um, miserable is heck with it. Yeah. What's the top of crazy? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Planning. Hmm. What the hell is top of crazy person planning, Holy Spirit? What are they planning? Am I collecting? <laughs> Reconciliation. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so whoever the toxic slash crazy person is, somebody is planning to leave this person behind so they could get to you and have this reconciliation. Okay? Whoever this toxic crazy is, I feel like they have no... Yeah, wow. See, the reason why somebody's acting out because they know that somebody's bringing you an offer. Yeah, new love and... Mm. They know this person wants a commitment with you. For some of you guys, this person could be like freshly new, or it could be an age different between them and this person. But somebody is stuck on your person. Yeah. I feel like you guys are doing the shadow work right now, or have done the shadow work, and you just like, all right, you know, if it doesn't make me happy, if it's not high vibration, if it's not on my level, then I'm not even going to entertain it. And whoever this person is. Ugh. This lady's man, family oriented, this could be somebody who has a whole family, a young child possibly. You know, that's not gonna be for everybody. But this person who wanna spend quality time with you, they could be a runner and respond. They could be trying to run from their responsibilities. Or they could have ran from you and left you a single parent and ran from their responsibilities. This is themselves playing games. Yeah, whoever this person is, it could be an age difference between them and this karmic, but this karmic is very immature as well. And this karmic um, knows that this person wants to be with you, but they're very codependent on the energy. Um, I feel like your person could be realize, uh, realizing or feeling like whoever this karmic partner is, is they karma. Give me a card on the family or it's the Holy Spirit. I like hear the kids playing outside so I see. Yeah, family oriented is clarified with offer and insecurities. This person gotta get their strength up. They gotta get like somebody uh <clears throat> give me a call on insecurities. With the yeah, friends with benefits. Yeah. Why? 
So somebody that has possibly a family wants to come in and bring you an offer, but they they um insecurities with friends and benefits. Somebody must like why would this why would just high vibrational person ever choose that? Why? Yeah. Yeah, that's why you triggered this this ladies man. That's why you triggered them. And the karmic as well, Sun Seeds, for some of you guys. Both of them are triggered by you. This karmic know that you ain't gonna settle for less. Okay? And this and whoever this um ladies man is, they just feel like <sighs> they would know they would have to do the work. They would have to do the work to be with this high vibrational person. This person is planning on leaving this person behind and coming towards you uh, with this reconciliation. This this could have been also a situation that um, with this person, the karmic, um, this person could have, this could have been a friends with benefits situation with them. Something could have been a fling or something could have just been, you know, friends with benefits. And then someone could have possibly gotten pregnant. And somebody could have felt like they was tied to something because of their responsibilities with this crazy person. It's like somebody was trying to do the right thing, but their heart wasn't there. Their heart was always with you. Yeah. yeah. Intimacy, non-committed, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Somebody could have possibly um, was involved with um, an earth sign towards Rebel, um, Capricorn. And that's the reason why somebody was um, non-committal. Only thing they could, something was only just friends with benefits. Yeah. Single parent. Someone new. Yeah, so this person, somebody could have got, somebody could be possibly thinking about leaving this single parent, um, leaving this person out in the cold to come, you know, you know what? Okay. <clears throat> That's why I feel like you're focusing on you. It's a damn lot going on here. <laughs> so let's see, let's go with Wyatt. Let's see. Give me a card on the um, trigger. Trigger. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mirroring. This could be a toy flame connection. Maybe something started off innocent and then something grew quick. Yeah, higher purpose. Give me it up. We have definitely a spiritual connection with the Empress under the bottom. This cheating and deception, new love. Yeah, somebody. Somebody could have cheated on a divine feminine and got somebody else pregnant. I knew love. Yeah. Realization. Air sign. Aquarius. Libra. Gemini. Somebody. Um, air sign could be realizing uh, what someone did. It's complicated. Movement in him. Yeah. I feel like somebody is coming in to go um, explain why they had to distance themselves or why they've been MIA or why you haven't heard from them. They're going to come in and explain it um, to you about this karmic partner and in this, in the situation they got themselves into. Yeah. They definitely are. Because whoever this person is, they're longing for you. Yeah, somebody about to tell you all the reasons why they want you back some seeds. Every last one of them. <laughs> but this person is afraid to um, communicate because they scared. <clears throat> it got something to do with whoever they share children with, or whoever they have a family with. Pinnacles, three of cups. Yeah, this is somebody who's ready to give 
give in to this connection now. It's giving me equal give and take. Reconciliation with the moon card under the bottom. With the four cups, four wands. This person is hot in the fact that they want to bring you a commitment. Okay. At a distance. Yeah. They're hiding that. <sighs> Somebody is also afraid of being rejected as well. Yes, uh, four cups to the page of wands. This person is going to reach out and communicate to you. That's what they're planning on doing. They plan on giving to this connection. Because somebody's still in love with you. Even though you walked away, this is how they feel, Empress. Empress, do you know who the spirit my beautiful collective sun season this is energy queen of swords this is you standing in the truth setting boundaries possibly you know got you your guard up yeah with the judgment somebody see something yes let's see Give me more Holy Spirit. This person wants a second chance with you. What's the judgment, Holy Spirit? King of Swords. Wow. <laughs> wow. King and Queen of Swords. King and Queen of Swords, if this is not a, a married couple going through a divorce, it just, it give me two couples that, you know, just real firm and you know, both of them think they know it all. And it's like, hmm, one of them debates where it could go on and on and on and on forever. <laughs> um, if not, um, whoever, the King and the King of Swords, somebody could make it be making a final decision, Okay. Hang me into the lovers. They could be seeing something about a choice that they have made. And now they want to free themselves. The fool to the seven of pentacles. To the five of wands. Yeah, somebody is realizing something that they invested in. Whew. It caused them a lot of burdens and a lot of responsibilities and a lot of conflict arguments. Um, all the time. Somebody is seeing something about what the hang me into the lovers about a choice that they made. The full card, very much foolish because the way how the Seven of Pentacles looking at the Five of Wands, like, what did I invest in? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Maybe so that's the damn truth. Somebody is seeing the truth. Two of Pentacles, a tower. Somebody who was possibly juggling you is someone else. <clears throat> Somebody is still in love with you. And they feel like <clears throat> they went out of an, another, um, a karmic cycle. Somebody wants to go and be with the equal, the counterpart. Mm hmm I see them put this justice under the bottom. Could be dealing with a Libra. Oh, I said a Libra. A Libra. Oh. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or um, a Libra. Somebody's name could be a Libra. But, um, yeah. This is divorce. King, Queen of Swords to the Justice. This is a divorce, a final decision. Somebody wants out of a connection. King of Wands to the Queen of Cups. Yeah, to the Queen of Wands. Whoever this King of Wands is, um, Sagittarius Energy, could be an Aries Leo Sag. But um, King of Wands used to give me Sag Energy. But somebody is about to take out action towards this person that they're in love with. Queen of Cups to the Queen of Wands. Somebody else is angry that something is changing. So you're about to get karmic justice. You and this person. Mm -hmm. Give me a card of the king of swords on the spirit. To see the page of pentacles to the full king of swords is clarified with the nine of pentacles <sighs> to 
somebody has definitely chosen to be single. Mm -hmm. Give me a card on the Nine of Pentacles. Self sufficient, independent. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Two of Cups. Somebody is leaving one connection to go towards the Two of Cups. King of Cups. Because somebody wants to go towards the person that they lay in love with. King of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yep. They want a passion to begin it with you. Someone who they, who they share chemistry with. This is definitely giving me twin flames. Or high level soulmate. <clears throat> More so high level soulmate. Give me a card on the King of Cups, Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have Temperance in reverse and Ten of Wands in reverse. Unbalance. Ten of Wands in reverse is somebody's dropping the burdens, or somebody could also be like heavily burdened by a situation. With the Temperance in the reverse, somebody could be um, needing to learn patience. Okay. What's the temper that reverse? Sagittarius energy. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is, is doing some type of work to bring balance. Three of Wands at a distance to you and this connection. Yeah, this person is working on something. They're working on something a lot behind the scenes. And it could just be this person just mastering themselves. Seven of Cups. The World Card. I feel like the reason why this person was like cold and attached to you, um, detached from you, because they was going through another situation that it was a lot of responsibility that this person got themselves caught up in, got themselves stuck up in. Okay. And um this is where they put their energy and their time in. And it wound up being a situation that it wasn't no balance between. It was just nothing but illusion. Somebody is seeing that something was nothing but illusion. And they really was trying to work on something. The, uh, the Temperance in Reverse, the Temperance in Reverse, Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. Somebody working on something that is, is, is no, it's not even real. Okay. And it, it burdens somebody out to where now somebody just like, oh, no. You know, I'm going to release this. I'm going to focus on myself. What's the Ten of Wands in reverse? And that's that not King of Swords player found with the Nine of Pentacles. This person is realizing something. Yeah, the Fool card. <laughs> Aquarius energy. What's the Fool? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody is um, leaving a situation that was very... Mm -mm. Somebody not dealing with that. <sighs> Whatever this betrayal is that caused this ending, I feel like the King of Cups is, um, it has the many feelings. Because this is someone who had you waiting. This is someone who turned their back from you to you to go to, a, to put in a situation, put in um, in a situation where it was unbalanced. The Emperor, the Eight of Swords, to the Chariot. We dealing with an Aries or um, a Cancer. Somebody could be incarcerated in prison or work for the justice system. Queen of Cups. Ooh. Somebody could have... Um, some type of legal action could have been called. Like somebody could have um the justice system. Mm. Yeah, somebody could have like literally had to be like possibly dragged out of a situation. It could have been multiple people called. Give me a card on the um on the Ten of Swords Holy Spirit. Yeah, four wands. Something about a home, a relationship. What's the um, Seven of Cups? 
Yeah, two of swords to the Knight of Wands. It's like somebody was trying to hold somebody hostage. The two of swords to the, the, um, to the Knight of Wands is giving me like, somebody was trying to keep somebody stuck. They didn't want somebody to leave or somebody wanted to go. Yeah, somebody was trying to, somebody trying to keep somebody stuck. Yeah, five of wands to the sun card. Yeah, you're going, you're going to hear about or see, um, find out about some type of conflict that could have possibly caused somebody, um, yeah, eight of swords to the chariot. Somebody could be getting a collect call from a person telling you that uh, about this situation. For some of you guys, that will be the reconciliation. Some of you guys, you know, you might be getting a call from this person, you know. Somebody could have even gotten arrested around Christmas. Something about this holidays. Five of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody is in regret. With the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody looking back like, what the hell? Six of Swords. King of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. Somebody want to leave. They want to leave a situation that they started a family with. Or whoever the third party is. Knight of Pentacles. Something could have been going on for a long time. Let me call on the chariot. Knight of Cup, the Moon card, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody, listen, somebody sees forever with you, okay? This somebody wants marriage. They want to build a life with you. This is I grow old and great with you. Let's build a legacy together. But somebody is keeping it a secret. Yeah, because you have no idea I'm here. This person going through some junk. Somebody is trying to keep this person like hostage. Like, I like, no, you're stuck with me. You got it. Because somebody know that this person wants to be with you. Secretly wants to be with you. Ooh, what's the, um, the sun? The sun? Leo energy. What's the sun? Leo cancer. Cancer Pisces. The sun card is clarified with the death card. Something is getting exposed. Something is over. Scorpio energy, Knight of Swords, and it's making somebody angry. That somebody is choosing themselves. Knight of Wands to the high friend. Oh no, they know somebody is going coming towards you. To, yeah, six of wands. They know somebody going towards um, a commitment with you. Whoever this toxic, crazy karmic is, they know this person is going to um, bring you a commitment. An offer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person sees nine of cups to the queen of cups. This person sees you as they wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Whoever this third party is, they not taking that very well. This person could be going to consult somebody. The magician, three of pentacles, seven of swords. They could be trying to do some underhanded work behind the scenes to del delay something with the knight of pentacles, five of swords. The hangman. Yeah, somebody is giving me some... Somebody is trying to hold, hold, hang on to somebody that wants out of a connection. Yeah, something is changing. It's, and being that something is changing, whoever the third party is, they were trying to um, keep this person stuck. They didn't want somebody to go nowhere. The magician, uh, three of pentacles, seven of swords. Somebody could have went, went reaching out for like to get some type of help or assistance. Somebody wanted to, um, give me, yeah, look at the Empress under the bottom with the star. I'm telling you. Who shall? The Four of Cups, the Devil card, Seven of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Somebody is listening. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody is regretting their decisions. About dealing with somebody, somebody realizing who the karmic is. Mm -hmm. They very are aware. Somebody also was trying to do something that um manipulate this person's mind when it comes to how they see you, how they deal with you. Somebody wanted this um your person to see you as dark when you when you this person. Somebody's intimidated. My third party is intimidated. Empress to the star, shining bright. The 
And somebody cannot stand to see that. They see, they feel defeated. It triggers the hell out of them. Mm. Somebody could be, oh. Somebody gets mad. When they see you shining like this. With your high vibrational style. Yeah. Because whatever manipulation, because the Seven of Pentacles is also about what you read, what you, you know, you, um, whatever you sow, you read. Somebody, you know, they was manipulative towards you, okay, tried to play this mind game, tried to confuse you, tried to be sneaky behind your back. And they actually wind up getting into um, a connection with somebody just like them. They met, they did match. And now somebody feels defeated because they just like, oh my goodness. How the hell I get caught up over there? <laughs> Romantic thoughts. I can't make it up. How can I how did I get caught up over over there when somebody is trying to find my way back to who? Yeah, somebody's trying to get back to you. Yeah. Give me more. Submerging any emotion. Somebody is all in the feelings at this time. For somebody, somebody is literally behind bars crying. Yeah, upgrade. Somebody is crying. For some of you guys, you crying tears of joy. Because you be you just because you're gonna be celebrating. Yeah. For you guys with the justice, you get good karma. Now you know what side you on. Not everybody. You know what side you're on. If you're on the good side of karma, somebody gonna be crying tears of joy. Yes. Some of you guys, as the, you know, the end of the year approaches, you guys are so happy that, you know, you was able to heal yourself, you know? But that's that um, self-care, self-care, self-love. With the sun card being out here? Hmm. Big more Holy Spirit. Yeah, no, no. That's the hangman. Seeing things from a higher perspective. Somebody is realizing something about people who they work with, they collab with, you know, that really don't have their best interests at all. Yeah, because they're a copycat, balance, and altercation. Who shall? Okay. This karmic feels like, this copycat-ass karmic feels like something that's just not fair. Okay? They feel like something is not fair. Okay? And they could be wanting to start a conflict. Okay, five of wands to the sun card. Mm -mm. It's like, whoever this card because they don't want this person to come in and bring you down. They don't want it. No, jumping to conclusions, transformation, and gratitude. Mm. Somebody don't want something to change. Caught up. Yeah, this person's actions is, is, is catching up to them. And they feel like with the full cup, it's like this person here, skeleton, secrets are about to be revealed in spell work. I feel like whoever your person is, they realize whoever they worked with, whoever they was teaming with, somebody was doing magic on them to keep them stuck. For others of you guys, somebody was doing, whoever you was dealing with, you gonna realize that somebody you was working with was doing magic on you, okay? Because they didn't want you to go over here and be this empress and star. They didn't want you to put that self-care and, and self-love and choose yourself. Somebody did not want you to be happy. Somebody who you least expect, okay, that was doing spell work on you, that you wouldn't even think that's the person that was doing it. Yes, the hell it was. Manifest, New Year's, romantic thoughts. This person is trying to manifest you back because they realize whoever they were with, yeah, they realized the grass was only greedy because it was fake. Kicked out? Yeah, it's like someone is realizing like, no. Like, no. Hell no. Level up, arrested, seeing through the fog, rumors. Mm -mm. Somebody was trying to leech off somebody else. Somebody could be, you could be seeing this. People felt like somebody wanted to, like, get you caught up in a situation, like, something, like, real bad. Yeah, it's like somebody is just like, damn. Like, they're like, damn. I wanted you to make this messed up behind mistake. 
damn, you chose you. Damn, you chose you. It's like, somebody does not like that. It's like somebody wanted you to get some type of something bad. Like, the hell? Like, hidden truth. Period. What's this? Projection in reverse. Yeah, you like, no, I don't want that. That's, that, that's yours. You, you can have that. <laughs> and somebody in their feelings because whatever they was planning and plotting, it just didn't work with you. No, 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 no. Give me one spirit. Guidance and last and like purpose. It, it, it did not just. What did I say? It, 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 it did not work with you. Your guys are definitely protecting you. Okay? And I'm talking to someone who's fully in the North Node. Yeah, it's too much protection around this emperor. It's too much. Yep. But somebody is feeling like um, either you helping this person or you could be a guide or a therapist or or someone could just follow you and, and feel real inspired, like real, uh, feel like you're very inspirational. Um, you help heal this person. It's like somebody is realizing the truth of who you are. Empress the whole damn time. And who humor, black magic, obsession. I'm telling you, somebody thought it was funny. Somebody be surprised to find out who was doing magic on them. A lot of you guys, it was this comic. Okay? Because they knew that this person wanted to come towards you. And they wanted to keep this person stuck in the past with them. But others of you guys, somebody who you was dealing with, okay, was consulting in a third party, okay, to do black magic. And they thought it was funny. Somebody felt like, well, if you didn't want me and you choose you, I'm going to keep your ass stuck in the past with me. Okay? I'm going to try to ruin your reputation. I'm going to talk about you. I'm going to make it to where you only, you only attract friends with benefit situations. People don't see you. Like, somebody was really behind the hand doing some junk. Spreading rumors, lies, all of that. All because you're inspirational, you're amused, and you left the ass behind. Addictions because they had addictions or they were just codependent on your energy. And this is the person who's desiring you who's out here catfishing. Okay? And they thought they was going to catfish you. And so you paid attention to the signs and symbolism. That was the red flag. And you completely dead ass. <laughs> and somebody cannot stand that you have a level up. Yeah, it actually it makes them cry that you're being celebrated. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I'm sussy. They need to leave my sussy alone for real. Like, for real. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And this could be a whole meal that's copied off a woman. Okay. The majority of y'all is they being karmic. Okay, that's obsessed with y'all. Jeez. Make sure you keep yourself protected. Okay? What you guys already are. You guys are already protected. But, um, I see some of y'all ain't even playing. <laughs> I'm not even playing. Like, get back. Get back. Six feet. <laughs> Let me get you guys some angry messages so I before I close this out. So I can start balling with all my stuff. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Give me some angel messages. Oh, my sun seeds. Heart chakra and integrity. Yeah. So somebody didn't have no integrity when it came to this love connection. They did. It's like, whew. Show sure, one way in your face, and you have no idea what that person was doing behind the back. Mm -hmm. Clear yourself first, card out. So you guys are definitely is, like I said, very protective towards your, your energy at this time. You're releasing toxic energies that, you know, that you may have absorbed from, you know, individuals. That's that self-care. It's you just focused on you right now. You're loving on yourself. Um, and whatever way that is for you, that's good. Um... Yeah. Somebody just doesn't like the fact that it's like you learned the last thing you released. I'm like, heck no. Parents. 
So this could be someone, like I said, this could be a parent of yours or a parent of your person's. Or it could be someone's, um, the parent of their child. You had goddess and crystals. I told you guys are healers. And you're able, like, it's like, whew, it's giving me rising phoenix. So beautiful. Look how big your wings it is. Peace, happiness, joy. Like, you're so magical, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Like, your nurturing qualities and what you bring, you know, to this world is so beautiful. And you're going to always be protected. You have nothing to fear. It's like somebody wanted someone to be stuck or feel, like, afraid or feel like they were stuck doing all of this. Like, no, you're not. And you're realizing something. Some of you guys are speaking up. You know, you're speaking up for yourself. Where you once didn't have a voice, you actually, you know, you're standing up for yourself. How you're setting up boundaries to speak in some type of truth, you know, you, it's showing other people how to treat you. Something about your voice, you know. Give me more Holy Spirit. Heart chakra and medium. A lot of you guys have the ability to, um, the natural ability to connect with the party loved ones. Okay. People passed over loved ones. Your passed over loved ones. Your ancestors. With the goddess heart chakra and medium, I feel like you're very loved. Um, you can be seeing 144 a lot. You're very special. And it's something, it has something to do with your heart. Somebody also want, is going to like speak to you and tell you how much you have helped them, how much you have healed them. Somebody parent could have been telling somebody to walk away from you. Manifestation power. Past life. Somebody from your past is trying to manifest you back in. Somebody realized some type of truth and it's making them very emotional. Ascended masters. Yeah, somebody is realizing something. Mm -hmm. But whatever this realization is, it's so powerful that it's, it's like it's going to release someone. Like a whole, um, something new, like a new chapter is going to be able to be started in someone's life. It, it puts this person like. Whoever I'm picking up on, it put um, it put them on the other side. It's like somebody was like locked in a door, and they've been looking for the key for five and long. For some, it could be years. Pinnacles, them seven of pinnacles and eight of pinnacles. That could be years. That could be time. It could be months. But somebody could have been feeling stuck with the two of swords hang, hang me in. That's somebody feeling stuck. No, it's like somebody is now be able to be set free. And it's like a bittersweet, um, a bittersweet time apart because it's the unconditional love did come out there, you know. So whatever somebody is walking away from is, it wasn't easy, but somebody have like a karmic, you know, a karmic cycle that they needed to close out and get rid of before they could start something new.